Okay, okay. I just had to walk out of the scene after I pushed the button. You hopefully you won't see this because I'll uh, that part because I'll have uh, edited that part out. But I don't have a remote. There's probably an app for that and some more money. But no, I'm too busy spending money on grilling and ingredients for beverages. So today, gonna cook a a manager special roast, sirloin tip roast. It's not it's not a dry tip, but uh, a little sirloin roast here. I'm gonna try to cook it. Probably take about about an hour and a half, two hours. It's what, yeah, a little after 17 here. So um, we're looking at a late dinner, which makes sense because we had a late lunch, and that's because we had a late breakfast, because we had a late dinner last night. It just it snowballed for us. Uh, first, let's get the grill ready. The grill's already hot. We'll toss a little bit of it's a hick, chunk of hickory wood here. It smells decent now, but it's gonna smell real good in just a minute when we start smoking. That's just to give us a little extra. Uh, flavor, smokiness, we love that here. Okay, got to do this quick, because uh, I got to prep this whole meal and everything and try to do it all in just a few minutes because we don't want to be sitting here watching YouTube videos that are 20 minutes long just to, uh, there's our deflector stone, here's our bowl of water to catch any drippings and to add a little bit of moisture to the uh, dinner. Let that go. Hopefully we'll, you'll see some smoke rolling here in a couple minutes as we're preparing the meat. Of course, the fact that you're watching this now means that it doesn't mean it was successfully cooked. It just means that it was successfully prepared because this is what I've never done before. I've never really attempted to do this before. So, okay, let's see. Got a cookie sheet here. It's going to act as our little cutting board to collect any extra stuff that we don't want to have run over the bunker. Uh, check this new knife out, by the way. Real quick, this is worth our time. Old Hickory. It's like 20 bucks at Walmart, but then I happened to walk by the clearance rack and it was five bucks. So I thought, hmm, probably worth it. We'll try it anyway. Got a buddy up north does uh, custom knives. And one of these days I want to get him to give me a nice, nice size butcher. Not, not a cleaver, but I said butcher. Little, 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 little. Ah! Anyway, here's our cut of meat. Let's see if it's going to work for us or not. Yeah, I think it's do what we want to do. Here's where, here's where it gets fun. I'm trying to make an envelope out of it. Yes, an envelope. I don't know. It, it should work. It works on everybody else's YouTube videos, right? We'll cut inside of there, and they'll make a little pocket and put some goodness in there. This is um, a nice roast, but it's a little healthy because it's just beef. I'm going to up our game here. Let's see. Got us a plate of stuffing. Some bacon and some cheese. Now we're going to put cheese in there. Uh, I checked my Facebook friends list and followers and all, and I only got one person that is not a big fan of when we add cheese to meat and other dishes. He's not lactose intolerant, he's just intolerant. Alright, but of course I'll find out if he's seen this video tomorrow when we get to work and he um, assures me that he has seen it and by his attitude I'll, I'll know. Good guy, but not much on the cheese, which I just don't understand. So, a couple of these here go in there. <laughs> oh man, come on. Now these are cheddar sticks. Uh, there was shredded cheddar in there too, but I just, I don't know, something just told me I wanted to use these, right? Get those stuffed in there, and I just think they're going to melt out a little bit. But I got extra here to throw in at the, at the end if it needs be. So, got a roast here stuffed. Now, let's see here. Let's put a little bit of uh, flavor on the outside. Mm, what's good? Hold on a second. The flavor I want's not in here. Let's see. Let's pause a second. Okay. That's embarrassing. I had to go in the house to get this. This is um, the official rub of uh, the grill bunker. Prepared by the neighbor across the way there. Vern and his Sullivan's House of Beer. Good gosh. This is the stuff right here. 
put this on here. Uh, I do it on a brisket. I think he does the same. Uh, a few other things. Mix him a burger patty sometimes. Make, oh, it, it's good on anything. Gosh. You could probably put it on tofu <laughs> if we did that here. All right. Put a little bit on there. Get on there. And we're going to rub it on in. Make sure we got a nice coating on there. Uh, it's it's weird. It, you think it, it smells a little spicier than it actually ends up being, I think. But uh, mm, good stuff. Well, there's our there's our piece of roast. Let's see what happens. Back side of the hand. See that smoke? Mm-hmm. You should be good. All right. Let that go. Hey, you know, I can't push any buttons on the. Come on. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, Vern makes that. Gotta be good friends with Vern. Great story, uh, how we met. This is actually a, a fun story. You like your neighbor uh, who has a pool, and he, and he has a nice pool. So we try to stay, we try to stay real good friends with them because they let us swim in it. It's a nice pool. And they give us uh, uh, spices. They make their own teriyaki. So there's a lot of good stuff over there. Good cook, good parties, good food, drink, etc. But the way we met was, um, around midnight I saw lights in the woods Whew, man this has been 20 years ago almost and um, wow it has been almost 20 years anyway lights in the back here I walked out there as a neighbor I mean, we hadn't really talked much and I said uh, you need help burying a body when I responded yes I was a little concerned and um, he really was I won't get go into the details of what body we were burying I'm not sure how important that is to this discussion but we've been friends ever since it's been pretty good so oh man this hickory smoke <clears throat> this is going to be good so anyway, I'll leave you with that, and um, leave you with another video of us cooking something in the bunker um, that involves bacon. All right, this is how I wrap up the weekend here at the Grilling Bunker, and hope to see you soon. I'm not sure what we got going on this week, but um, it's supposed to cool down. It's supposed to be in the 80s this week, so I guess I'll have to get me a sweatshirt or something about the bunker and grill. I want to come out of the 80s right here. So y'all have a good night, and um, go grill something. It's fun. Bye now.